We have with us the Vice Chairman of the Institute of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, Lagos State Branch, uh, Samuel Ayetutu, who's been speaking to us about uh, the growth, uh, the prospects, the opportunities, and of course their upcoming program, which is uh, going to be held here in Lagos, talking about uh, the award gala night, uh, which is coming up on Thursday uh, next week. I just wanted you to touch on, because you also say it's, um, um, what's the theme again? Uh, the game changers. Game changers. And of course, this is going to be like an internal, you know, you are appreciating and commending game changers yes. within the industry. Yes. But um, how do you single out, you know, these, um, this, this elite, this, this elite group now? Uh, what's the selection process like? You talked about the voting, uh, you know, that people have to vote in. But tell us more about, you know, how um, these people, you know, get to stand out, how you finalize on this, this final set. Okay, thank you, Kenny. Uh, we, we have what is known as the uh, selection committee, which drives the process. And uh, it includes, in the first place, uh, filling a form to put in all that you think could qualify you to win in the category that you are uh, attempting to win. And uh, when you fill the form, the, with the selection committee looks at the things that you have claimed that you have done and there's a way we verify that at the back end. And uh, there is a part of your, the marks to be scored that is based on the votes that you are getting. Of course, it's assumed that uh, players in the industry, uh, stakeholders, particularly members of the institute, should also have uh, be in a way, have the capacity to look at what you have done and agree that it's really worth uh, uh, singling out, to use your word, for for recognition. Like a panel so, of judges? Yes. We have the panel of judges is essentially what is known as the selection committee. But we have voters. That is also the voting part of it, which is essentially restricted to members of the institute. Because it's assumed that you will not be able to vote on uh, a PR activity or campaign if you don't have the competence to determine what I is a professionally yeah. done job mm. and stuff like that. So after then, we then uh, inform those who are supposed to come after the nomination, the nominees, and then we we now give them the award at the at the event, which again is like I said, is coming up on Thursday next week, twenty uh, first of uh, December. So the the selection process is very stringent, is because we are concerned about ensuring that there is accountability in the process. We do not want uh, candidate A to begin to wonder how come it was B that won. So the selection committee proceeds in such a way that the, the results are justifiable eventually. So uh, that is the way, the way it is. And most of the people that are involved in all of this process, like you said, are already part and parcel of the public relations community. They are uh, many of them are the ones that come to our monthly meeting, mm -hmm. which we do at the Queer FM Hall. Uh, that's what we call our PR clinic. Mm -hmm. Because NIPR is also very concerned about deepening knowledge and updating the skills and competencies of its members. So uh, training is a very important part of what the institute does. Mm -hmm. So, and the, the uh, institute at the topmost level, talking about the national office, sits on top of that. We have our state a secretariat at a town planning way. That is where the chairman of NIPR and the ESCO, which I am part of as a, as a vice chair, that's where we run the affairs of, of the state. So there are many workshop training and a, a, a symposium and essentially what we call PR clinic, which comes up, that one comes up every first Thursday of the month That's right. at uh, a FM multi-purpose Let me quickly buzz I'm also keen on how, what role the PR, um, the public relations experts, uh, practitioners are doing in terms of, you know, helping the brand Nigeria, Nigeria as a brand, you know, selling Nigeria to the international community, especially if you look at value uh, reorientation of the youth that we have today, the netizens that we have today, who on social media, whenever they want to talk about Nigeria, they see the only thing they talk about is bad thing. Even when the good news are there, they are not ready to amplify. The only thing they want to talk about is the bad side of the country, the bad side of every politician or everyone. So, and they themselves are not portraying the 
Nigerian image, even when they themselves go outside of the country. What role is the PR uh, professionals playing in this regard you know, to ensure that Nigeria is seen as you know, what it is, a good country? Okay, thank you, Brian, for that question. In the first place, Nigerian uh, public relations practitioners see themselves in the f as people who are part and parcel of an army that is concerned with projecting the image of the country. Regardless of the interests, there are commercial interests, there are personal interests, we want to thrive and make money as practitioners, but that's um, uh, citizenship uh, consciousness, that concern for the image of our country, because we can't leave that to doctors or carpenters or, or nurses or lawyers. That is our business. So public relations practitioners in every uh, fora put this question we have talked about on the front banner. So we are always asking ourselves, we are always telling our members, how do we develop content that can make the story of Nigeria be seen or told in positive light? That's what the Western countries have gotten very rightly. As we sit here, people are still looking desperately for how to go to the, uh, those countries uh, known as uh, greener pastures, uh, looking for greener pastures, uh, the Jaguar syndrome. Even when we have lush, lush vegetation in Nigeria. Yes, it's essentially about the fact that over the years, Western countries know how to hide their shit, mm. uh, if I'm sorry to use that word, to, to, to cover up anything that they think can make, uh, that can drag down the name of their country. So they are busy telling their stories, doing, uh, 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 creating their content in right. such a way that So that's what we are also uh, making our members understand that we need to do at all times. And that is, is working, particularly at this time uh, in history of the organization. We, a lot of interface, like I said, are already uh, uh, coming up be between government and practitioners at topmost level in order to ensure that uh, we are constantly on this journey to change the narratives about uh, Nigeria as a country. And, and this is a crucial uh, you know, task. We wish you fruitful uh, deliberations uh, you know, on, on this national assignment, so to speak. Samuel Ayetutu, the Vice Chairman, uh, NIPR Lagos Branch, we thank you very much. We also wish you uh, a smooth program uh, next week. Thank you very much. Thank you, so much. Thank you right. for having me.